Church planting is really vital for this context in Addis Ababa, Ethiopia. The name Addis Ababa means new flower in Amharic. The city of Addis Ababa needs a new flowering of the gospel. Many people in the city would consider themselves to be Christians, but most are coming from an Ethiopian Orthodox background. And for many of them, the gospel has been obscured. They've really had no contact with the scriptures, no contact with the message of Christ and the gospel. And so while there are churches around the city, um, many of them uh, are not connected to the gospel in a deep and vibrant way. And so we feel like church planting in a way that is centered on the message of the gospel and on the person of Christ is really key and crucial for this time and this moment in our city. There are six of us currently, myself and five other Ethiopian brothers, working together as elders over the church plant. We rotate the teaching, we rotate the, the church leadership, we really do everything together as a team. And the reason for that, number one, is because we are a Presbyterian mission and we desire to see people laboring together in the gospel ministry and leadership, but also the reality is that many of the communities that we work in uh, are lower income communities. And so we're trying to think through what does it look like for people in our local community to be raised up into church leadership. God has enabled us to work together as elders to teach and preach and lead worship together in a beautiful way. <laughs> Serving people for like for food or for school or for uh, medical thing is not enough. It's not full. So we have to introduce God's kingdom to them. We have to work to make Christ known to the community within the culture of the people without ignoring their culture, without ignoring their background. Since you are Ethiopians, we know our culture. So we have to advance gospel within the, the culture of our country. Our model is Jesus Christ. So when Jesus is serving the people, he's giving the holistic ministry. We are doing the, the, the same things. We are giving holistic ministry. Not only food and not only counseling, but also spiritual care for the people. We are choosing church planting. Especially for HIV positive people and TB patients. Most churches are not uh, conscious for such people. So we wanted to start a church that, that's welcoming for every community, from every social background, religious background, that need, I think, to start a church here. Here we see people changed by the power of the gospel, redeemed by the blood of the Lord, give their life for Christ, committed their life, God is here doing a miraculous work in this very poor area. In spite of their problems, afflictions, and challenges, they are coming to the church uh, to follow Christ and to love Christ. If someone is fed or get clothes or some health care, still there is a brokenness or openness in people's heart. God called us to fill that gap. The only thing that fills people's gaps in their life is gospel. Church planting is the most important thing. We are just grabbing that mission of Jesus. So church planting is seems like a very big term, but it's addressing individuals' life and reconcile them with Christ, with themselves, with their uh, neighborhood, and with their nature. So we are going to address that need through the gospel. How we are going to do it through the church planting. Go